obviously the name in your division is the champion, Conor McGregor, 155 pound champ. He's kind of out of the game a little bit right now. But, you know, he, he's, his style has presented problems to a lot of people. Why won't it present a problem to you? You know, if you're big in Irish, I am the, I am, I have like very big fan base, not only in Russia, this about like all USSA country, like Ukraine, Belarus, Uzbekistan, Kazakhstan. <laughs> You know, you know, you have seen no understand uh, how I have big fan group because I'm the Muslim. You know, I'm the Muslim and I have one more than one billion. We have more than one billion Muslim around the world, and we don't have a lot of fighters. And I'm the now I'm the best Muslim fighters in UFC. And I have a crazy big fans. You know, but I think if. If uh, Connor have like uh, one fan, I have more than him, like 20 times more than him fans. And you have seen no understand this. And you know what interesting? Uh, uh, you know what interesting? Uh, I think UFC have to make plan a little bit because this chicken is no loyal guy. I know this. Because if you if you. If you remember, guys, when he, when first time he fight in UFC, and he talk like after fight he talk like 50 key baby something like this. He asked to Dana, please give me 50 thousand. You know, no, please. And he said, give me 50 thousand. And after UFC beginning, UFC make him right. If you know, if he never fight in UFC, how he become like this? UFC make him. and. Uh, <coughs> Now he have name, now he talk about, oh, I can fight without UFC in boxing, you know. For me, it's number one. He, this is like disrespect for UFC, disrespect who support you before. And now I think UFC have to make plan. They have to ma put like PR machine. Uh, they have to make my name big because, because UFC don't put about this place Nothing, you, you know. They put to Twitter, but they no not promote this Q and A in Instagram, right? Yeah. Right, Ariel. I don't know. And you know, <laughs> but this, but this is, you know, uh, this is true. But you have to promote him all the time, and because we have a very big PR machine, and now I think you have have to make plan. They have to promote me, make fight like me versus him when I beat Tony Ferguson, inshallah. They have to come on this fight and I'm gonna smash this guy. This is what he have to do for you, you see. This is how I see this situation because we have to make him humble. This is what I think. You said earlier that you don't think Conor McGregor will defend the title. Do you think it's because he has no intentions of ever defending the title or because he doesn't want to fight you? I think both. I think both, you know, because of me, yes, and because of like, uh, and he's, you know, he's this business guy. He understand who is who, you know, everything. I don't think he's he wanna defend defend his title. Um, so, what is your plan? You say that you'll be the new champion. You'll be the official champion after March fourth after the fight against Tony, and you don't think that Conor wants to fight you, so what do you think will happen? Like, what is your plan? What do you want to see happen after this fight? Will you try to convince them to make the Conor fight, or will you just look for, for another contender in the division? I don't give a shit about Conor. I think about Conor Bell. I, I, when I come to the UFC, I never think about Conor. Oh, I want to fight with him, make money, something like this. I think about only only belt, you know. I think I beat Tony Ferguson after Connor say he don't he don't want to defend his title because he never defend his title and and I fight with another tough contender, another tough like uh, I don't know who's become maybe Michael Chiesa, maybe like 
Barbosa somebody like this. But don't you Do you feel that you're the uncrowned champion? Do you feel that you're the uncrowned champion? You just, all you miss is the belt? You know, now mm, we have to stay. I know he's champion. Now I, I have fight for the interim belt, but we'll see what happens. Now I focus only Tom, about Tony Ferguson, you know. I don't think about this guy. And that's about you, that, that, that every time you do an interview, his name comes up, that you're attached to him, and he hasn't even fought? With who? Connor, the fact, that, the fact that everybody keeps bringing him up, is that's kind of like he's like the, the elephant in the room. Does that bother you, the fact people keep attaching to him, or just something that you, you'll deal with it when you have to? You talk about if he touch me? <laughs> no, just, <laughs> just just the fact that people keep bringing him up, regardless, if you're trying to focus on Tony. No, you know. When I see his eyes backstage, in way in, you know, like he's different. He 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 wanna talk with everybody. When he see me, he don't want to talk with me. You know, he is and his coach. You know, like they're all chicken. You think he's trying to fight Mayweather to dodge you? I think, <clears throat> I think, uh, I I you know, like fifty fifty. Because uh, because of money, they can make this fight. But he have contact with the UFC. How he wanna fight in boxing? You know, I don't understand this. But UFC can make this. UFC can do this like about money. Because this is very good paper fight. But uh, like to be honest, he is like, he is not my weather level boxer. You know, nobody can catch him. Twenty years in professional. Uh, career, you know, now McGregor wanna catch him. I don't believe this. But I don't think this fight happened. Like 50 50, I don't know. Because of money, I think maybe. But if we think about like he have contract with the UFC, no. And I know, uh, you know everyone's talking to you about Connor and talking to you about what comes next. Another guy that you've had some history with in the past, I'm just kind of curious. What's your interest in fighting Nate Diaz? I know he's another name that's come up in the past for you. Is that still a fight that you'd be interested in? He lose more than 10 times in UFC. How is this possible? All UFC high-level fights, high-level high opponents, like top 10 guys beat him. I don't remember when he win. He beat only this chicken, like... <laughs> I, I don't remember this. Uh, you mentioned that if the fight with Conor did happen, you would like for it to be in Russia, it would be in Madison Square Garden, or it would be at the T-Mobile Arena. Would you have any interest if the fight was proposed against McGregor in Ireland? Let's go. Right. <laughs> yeah, beat this guy uh, in Ireland, this is like very good, I think. Make make him humble not not only him like all Ireland <laughs> why not